Hello everyone, thank you very much for watching today. Happy Thursday out there. And today we're gonna to be talking about marketing. I'm gonna give you some simple marketing ideas, a simple plan. I mean, there's lots of things to talk about in marketing because the sky's the limit and things you can do to network with people and get yourself out there and get some business. But <clears throat> I'm gonna give you some simple things that you need to think about daily, do weekly, do monthly, and if you follow this, these suggestions, you're going to get business. So this is this video is really for everybody out there, but especially, especially those agents, anybody watching this that has nothing going on right now, or very little. What I mean by that is not nothing like you have zero going on, but if you have zero going on, yes, this is for you. But I'm talking about those agents that just don't know, don't have a backlog of clients looking for houses not someone that might be looking for a house you're like okay i'm showing buyers tonight but i got to show buyers tomorrow and i got i got a listing appointment three listing appointments next week and i got uh, uh another buyer that wants to start uh, next saturday if you don't have a list of appointments in your schedule of all, every night for the next couple weeks of listing appointments buyer appointments showing houses all of that this is for you because you want the whole point is you want to get to that point you want to get to the point where your schedule is filled and figuring out how to uh, continue marketing and doing the these some of these things while you're doing the actual business and you're you know neck deep in in busy every night every weekend showing houses listing appointments writing offers all of that so first I'm going to start with you have to uh, remember that and I've said this before 87 percent of Realtors fail in five years every five years so someone getting in today you have an 87 percent chance of not being in real estate five years from now and then it, it just it's a cycle I see it. I see it right now. I see it every, you know, been in the business long enough to I experience it. It's true. It's 100% true. Uh, you know why? And then some agents, I'm a broker. What I mean by that is I see agents that come into our office. I'm watching the market, the real, the agent market. I'm watching the, the people come in. I see these names. I see all those come in there. Agents that are actually busy, that going, don't realize this. Because they never see these names of agents, they never know them. Because they're not watching agents. I'm every day, just like you should be watching the market every day and what's happening in your area, buyers, sellers, things selling, all that. I'm watching agents in and out, in and out, where they're going, who's coming in, who's going out, who's not part of the board anymore, who's not part of the MLS, who's new. I watch that and I see it. I don't want any of you to be part of that. And just in general, in business. How important marketing is is like, and one of the statistics I heard is 90% of all businesses start up fail eventually. And one of the main things is marketing, marketing. And I know that's 100% true in real estate because every single agent out there has the these things I'm going to tell you to do has the ability to do these things outside of maybe. Uh, having a little bit of capital and in money to invest in in these things, but that's um, this is for the startup agents, the agents that haven't had sales yet. But the agents that have had sales, if you've had sales, if you've been in the business, how much do you have saved in your marketing savings for your business? And guess what? I bet a lot of you are going to say zero. You got your commission checks and you spent it all. Because you had bills to pay, we all you know bills to pay, kids to raise, things to do, but you didn't, you don't. Every single one of your commission checks should be there. Should be money saved, just like any business. When business comes in, when sales happen, things happen. A successful business doesn't spend all of the money they can't. They have bills to pay, but for some reason, most agents think their personal bills are their business bills. And don't take a percentage for themselves for their personal bills and put a percentage on the side for 
their business and not just business expenses like board dues and MLS fees and things like that. I'm talking about marketing and to continue marketing. So I'm going to give you some ideas on that. So here is a, a simple marketing plan. And again, if you want this and you text me, email me, I could give you this list. I, I have my notes here. I could copy and paste it very easily for you. But write these down if you want. I was rewind. <laughs> rewind. <laughs> you always could go back and watch this video again. I remember I still say rewind <laughs> like it's a tape. But all right, marketing plan. This is one for your database. Your database. Uh, number one, your marketing plan should be up in visual so you could see every day. Either a board in your office that you're in there all of the time. It should be on your phone. In your, if you're, uh, I'm, I'm in my calendar all day long. It's, I'm looking at what my next appointment is, what, what next tomorrow is, what, what I have to do. My to-do list is in my calendar. Every morning I have my to-do list of the things I have to do. So I'm always in my calendar because that's where it's, everything is visual to me. So you have to have this upfront visual. So <clears throat> to your database, you have to, uh, number two, is you have to have some type of weekly email, market update, what's happening, uh, any, anything to connect with your database of people, what you're, what you're up to, a newsletter. Uh, Century 21 Homestar, we have in our database, uh, in our uh asset library and in our CRM uh, zap and business builder there's already pre-made emails in there that you could send out but there should be a weekly email to your database of what's going on and create that um, three monthly mailers to your database now this is to your database people that should know you not every people that don't know you someone that you've called text knows you that's a, a friend of a friend a referral someone that knows your name you shouldn't be spending money on mailers on people you know if you, you have a limited budget we'll say on people that will not recognize like who's this you know you should already have a relationship that's why i say your database your database doesn't mean just throw names in there and addresses and like oh here's a whole street they're in my database yes they're in your database but i'm talking about your specific database should be that should be sliced off of past clients, referrals, people you've talked to, networked, you know, uh, friends, relatives, anybody that would know your name or better, at least that. So a monthly mailer, it could be just listed, just sold, things that's happening in the market, what's happening with you, what uh, free market analysis, uh, tips for buyers and sellers, uh, all it could be. There's so much content out there that you could find to put into that. So it's just even Google, I've never even done that. Google uh, real estate agents monthly mailers, and you'll probably find a couple of companies that do it for you. So uh, number four, five calls a day, minimum five calls a day to your database. Five calls a day. If you do five days, uh, business days, weekdays, that's 25 calls a week. That is 100 calls a month. If you want to call everybody uh, that's in, if you have a hundred great connections and people in your database, there's a hundred in there. So that's great. Uh, you could do. So that's an example of of uh, things you could do. And then the five last thing, and hopefully you have this, or you could start at least gathering this, is birthdays and anniversaries. Uh, simple. If you have 365 good contacts in your database, you're going to have, on average, one birthday a day. So this should be in your phone. It should be in a reminder somewhere. You're, you're, th you're saying happy birthday to someone almost every day or on average every day. If you have double that, it's two. If you have triple that in your database, it's three. Try to get that in there. And there's different ideas than how you can get people's birthdays. Example. I'm just giving you one example that I've given agents over the years. If you're, your database, find a local place, restaurant, uh, coffee shop, uh, ice cream parlor, somewhere that gives something free for someone's birthday. So 
you could use that to get someone's birthday. Like, hey, what's your birthday? Hey, I have in my database of people, my past clients and, the, and, and my friends and relatives, I have local businesses that give away things free on their birthday. I would like you to be part of that list so I can send you that. Would you like free stuff on your birthday? I'll include that in an email or a text to you once a, once a year reminding you, hey, remember, and I add to that list all of the time. Every year I add more places that give away free stuff on their birthday. Would you like that? How easy is that? Who's going to say, no, I don't want you to send me free stuff on my birthday? Don't 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 email me. If they don't if the best thing you know, if someone says, No, absolutely not, don't want to give you my birthday, then guess what? You know those people are probably never gonna be a client of yours. They don't want to do business with you, they don't even want to talk to you. You just save the time of following up with those people the rest of your career of following up with those. So it's a good way to 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 uh, clean out your database of potential people that will, will use you in the in, in the future. If they don't know you, trust you, and, and you're not following up with them often enough to at least they feel comfortable giving you their birthday and email address, then they're probably not even comfortable enough that they're ever going to use you as an agent. My opinion, but you could keep them in, in your list there. So those are the things that you need to do for your database. Make it up, make sure it's up and visual every day to remind yourself weekly emails, monthly mailers, five calls a day minimum, and birthdays and anniversaries every day. There's something you should be doing to touch base with your database every day. Now I'm talking about your farm area. And this talks about if you have a little bit of that savings in your marketing saving, business savings. So in your farm area, if you pick 100 houses, 200 houses, uh, an area where you've, you're You've done business before. Usually, it's where you live. You, you, you want to do a few, two, three, four, up to you mailers a year to that area of market updates. What's happening in in their area? Just listed, just sold over the last few weeks. Make sure you check with your manager, your broker. Your, uh, you know the requirements of what information you could put in there, uh, because sometimes you want to say for sale, and then you send out a mailer two weeks later. And sold yeah they put some disclaimers in there so there's some things that you want to be doing to protect yourself on the legal side of things but a mailer to consistently that you know you have the budget and will have the budget to send to an X amount of of air people in houses for so many times a year for years to come you're like every year I my budget is X to do all my mailers to be sent out to uh, my farm area. Uh, social media target ads, Facebook, you could pick a city, pick an area. You could do $5, $10, $20 to boost it. Learn how to do Facebook ads. I'm not an expert in how to do it. <laughs> I know you can, and I've seen, I have lots of agents that do them. Learn how to do it. It's right on Facebook. They'll teach you, they'll take your money. <laughs> and it's not that expensive. But again, people see the mailers. Next thing you know, they're on Facebook because they say they live in a certain city or area and it targets them. Then they see your face and different things. Social media target uh, uh, ads. And uh, if you can, number three is do, uh, do open houses in that area. Either your own listings, if, you, if your office allows you to connect with other agents that might have listings, in there and ask them if you could do open houses again puts your face in that area you can door knock so again imagine you do one two open houses a month in a certain your farm area you're sending out mailers you're sending out social network uh, or target market Facebook ads you, they'll see you in that area they'll they'll see you other ideas I give agents is if you ever have over the summer want to do door knocking and just go to your farm area and again check with the city about solicitation do you have to get a permit and go there do you want to drop off anything like a, a flyer this is just you know what's been on the market what's sold in the area and make sure my opinion is if you do it like once a month once every other month you and you're in a farm uh, your farm area get some door magnets Get some stuff on your car. Park your car at the beginning of the street uh, or a street of the street you're going to do. So on a Saturday when people are walking by, they go, you know, Tony from Century 21 is in our 
It's on our street again. How many of us know, I know, I know in my market or my street, my neighborhood, for some reason, I know the, the people, the Jehovah Witnesses or the uh, other people that are going door to door that, you know, a group of people, two or three of them, they're all dressed nice. I know their car. I know, <laughs> I know when I turn the, the corner, I see the car parked and it's not a car. You know, how many of us, you know, know we're, we know, we drive up and down our street so often that we know that's not a neighbor's car. That's someone's has company. Someone's this. But when you see the same car uh, certain times a, a, a month and you see the same people walking door to door, you know who's in the neighborhood. Do you have a neighborhood like that? Do you have? Do you live at a, a dead end street in a cul de sac where if no one's driving down your street unless they live there or there, and everybody's watching who's outside? Do you have? The, are you one of those nosy neighbors, or do you have nosy neighbors because you want a farm area like that where everybody's nosy and knows who's in their neighborhood, walking around, parking? That's marketing. That's when they know you're in the area. So that's ideas to give there, and then just. Uh, you could do just listed postcards, just sold postcards, not of your own listings, you know, with your, the rules that you can make sure you give uh, a shout out and make sure you have on there whose listings they were and who sold them or that. Check with your manager uh, or broker and find out the rules and what you can send. But you could send them a market update of what's listed and what's sold in your farm area. I would say just stick with the sold because they're not going back to active. <laughs> the active ones might you can might be able to put you know some things in there. Uh, again, more things. All of that combined keeps your name and face in there. Social media. Last today, I'm going to talk about social media and simple things you could continually do all the time with social media. Number one, week, week, week weekly market updates. Just do a video of what's happening in the market. It could be all of Northeast Ohio. It could be pick, start picking individual cities, areas. Uh, all of that data is right on the MLS of what sold last month, uh, uh, how many listings, how many sales, highest price, lowest price. Look for those reports on the MLS. They'll show you average days on market. They'll see the change from this year to last year. They'll show you the change from last month to this month. It's easy information contents there for that. Uh, now, when you do these market updates, you got to uh, number two, you got to post those and let people know that they're coming. Advertise it, send it out. You know, do a uh, you know a my story on your Facebook if you're personal. You have a business page, promote it on that. If you want to send out uh, an ad to that area, that uh, market. You're welcome to send that out. Spend some of those marketing dollars on that. And then last, uh, three times a week, three times, at least, uh, you know, I have some agents that do it almost every day, post something that, that, and to show that you're doing something in your business, to show people you're working, like, hey, picture of yourself in the car waiting for one of my buyers out here in Strongsville, out here in North Ridgeville, out here in Solon. So show pinpoints you are in an area or in a, in a, in a spot working. They show you working uh, with your buyers that they, they just closed on a house uh, in an area when you're you know out there about to go on a listing appointment. You can say, hey, out here picking up a new listing coming soon in Solon. You don't have to say, you can't, you know, it's not up and running. You can't say the address or the street yet, but you can at least say something's coming in Solon. So there's different things you can do every day you have something to do I don't want you to I hope you're not uh, in the position where you're like waking up every morning like oh what am I gonna do today I don't know what to do I have nothing to do you have to have this a plan like this in visual like check I did that check I did that check I did that you should have a checklist of marketing because without marketing will get you nowhere without promotion gets you nowhere. You have to promote yourself, market yourself, innovate yourself. You have to do this continually, daily to be successful in real estate. And last I'll say is that one, now if you have a budget for some of these things, the next thing you can do, all of these things, a lot of them could be automated. 
a lot of these could be outsourced. You could hire someone to do these. You could hire someone for once a week. There's a website, or you can go to, there's a website called Fiverr. It's F-I-R, uh, F-I-V-E-R-R, uh, no, -E two R's. That's why I got the R's mixed up too soon. F-I-V-E-R-R, -E Fiverr.com. And you can hire people from all across the world to do all different kinds of marketing, uh, anything for you. There's, it's just, it's like, a, it's like Indeed. It's like, it's a way. There's people on there, and they call them gigs, uh, gigging uh, people. That will say they'll, they just hire them for short term, and they'll, you could see their ratings, see what they do. You could hire someone for like five bucks an hour to make flyers for you. You could have someone make marketing pieces. You could have someone do your social media posts for you. You could uh, you could work with someone and make sure you, they send out your mailers. There's I know Century Twenty One Home Star Agents. We have a whole online marketing the uh, uh, print shop and post office. So you can make custom made marketing pieces and send them your database. Send them your uh, an area. They'll mail things for you. You could send it in, and you could pre do it so like example what I, I suggest agents and I unfortunately I don't see a lot of agents doing this is that all of a sudden you get a good commission right now you could put the money in there saying and, and set it and done you can make marketing pieces for the whole year so I'm gonna say three marketing pieces to my 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 database or my farm area this year I got a good commission check so let me invest the money in this click 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 send out this on this day send out this and this day send out this and this day and print it and you're done for the rest of the year so you got to outsource this so you're not sitting there licking stamps and doing things so there's ways to automate it there's ways to outsource this stuff because if you spend all of your time here and not getting the business that the the benefits from all of this you're not going to get more sales. And then if you're all in the sales, if you're doing all of this yourself and you're busy every day with buyers and sellers and appointments and things, and you're not going to have time to do all of this, and then this stops, and there's the roller coaster. A lot of great sales, got a lot of great sales. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing, nothing. I have nothing. And then you, I'm going to start doing all of this and working hard, get people up, 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 up. And then you got deals, you got buyers, you got listings, boom, down. Because you don't do this consistently. consistently. So look for help. You can hire people to do these things. Very easy. I just gave you one website. You could go to find people to do this. Uh, uh, you could, uh, those mailers and emails could be click and go and send you uh, those calls you could you could set and put it on your calendar make sure you you set it like I'm gonna make five calls a day it's always going to be between 9 a.m. and 10 and 10 30 a.m. and make sure you do it uh, there's different things you can do to automate this and schedule it so you don't forget it because you're not showing houses at 9 in the morning usually you're not uh, you know presenting an offer or you or getting an offer signed by a buyer at nine in the morning, usually not. So usually those are at midnight. <laughs> so you have to schedule yourself for when you're going to do these things when you're not actually doing all the business that reaps the benefits of all this marketing. So hope that helps. Remember, use me as a resource. Call me, text me, email me. I'm happy to help you with some ideas because there's I just, this is just a sample. This is a small sample. There's a million other things you can do to promote yourself and market yourself. So I, uh, I just want to give you some small, simple things that anybody can do at any time. So that's it. Have a great Thursday. We'll see you tomorrow, Friday at high noon. Bye. See some of you very soon. Hopefully see a lot of you very soon because we're going to be opening up the office here, hopefully in a few weeks. So as a little, anybody who's watching this, opening it back up to agents very soon. Keep an eye out for that email off to the Century 21 Homestar agents. All right. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.